space for those whose voices are not heard. Archbishop Gregory Amon blessing the Holy Innocents Prayer Garden in St. Patrick's Cemetery No. 1. Though there were times when it looked like the prayer garden might not be completed in time for the scheduled blessing. The memorial garden is dedicated to the unborn, whether through miscarriage, stillbirth, abortion, or any situation that prevented the burial of their remains. I want to thank you for making this trip out to our brand new location. Debbie Shinsky's Respect Life office with the Archdiocese of New Orleans, along with its Catholic Cemeteries office, created the prayer garden with a statue of Rachel, the Old Testament mother, weeping for the destruction of children, all hoping the garden will be a place of solace, prayer, and closure for families. The closure that they seek, they don't know how to find it because first they were not given their children's remains. They weren't given the option to even have that physical burial. And then they didn't have the funeral home experience and the family around them and the friends around them gathering in prayer. And today we remember in a particular way all those women who have lost children through miscarriage. As Archbishop Amon delivered his blessing, you can see it in Debbie Shinsky's face. The Holy Innocence Prayer Garden was more than an archdiocesan construction project. It's been an emotional, personal journey as well. For my husband and I, this is an especially important thing because we have lost several children um, through, it was miscarriage. Debbie endured three miscarriages and they all happened at a time before families had the ability to receive their child's remains, an option she and her husband didn't have. So the grieving process for closure is something she seeks from the same Holy Innocence Prayer Garden she helped build. Even if you were only pregnant for a short period of time, that child was there and he or she left a significant void. To help fill that void, the Archdiocese of New Orleans will offer families an opportunity to place a bronze plaque with their baby's name on the granite base of the Rachel statue. And so to be able to, you know, name the baby and be able to put that plaque on and have a place where anybody can come and pray, it was, you know, it was what we need for our, our Catholic cemeteries. They also needed a break in winter. Snow, ice, and freezing weather pushed the completion of the prayer garden to the very end. Two days prior to the blessing, work was still being done and snow still on the ground. It's a miracle that this, this garden was able to be completed in time for this memorial service and blessing. Debbie's family now includes four kids, spouses, grandchildren, and it's growing. But she says it was likely three little angels that helped on this project. And those angels, Catherine, Matthew, and Therese, will be among the first plaques to be placed at the Holy Innocence Prayer Garden.